It is April 7th and we're taking a look at guncalendars.com where we try to archive our Second Amendment history. And today we have a couple of things to talk about, a couple of anniversaries and unfortunately a uh, two-way rally that has been postponed. So let's dig into, uh, I guess first things first, the oldest thing in the calendar is the anniversary of the birth of Johannes Craig or Herman Johannes Craig. Are we saying that wrong? Uh, he's number two of diamonds on our firearms inventor playing card deck. I think everyone's heard of Craig Rifles. Uh, he was involved with both the uh, Craig Peterson and the Craig Jorgensen. And if you're not familiar with these rifles, today might be a good day to go look them up. Anniversary of his birth in 1837. Uh, he's from Norway, so he's not a U.S. inventor. Uh, let's see, we got. Uh, let's go to the rally. There was supposed to be a rally today in Missouri. Would have been a gun rights rally uh, at the Capitol from 10 to noon. Unfortunately, because of the uh, virus, of course, it's rescheduled. I have not heard when the rescheduled date is, so if someone knows, please let us know so we can post it here on the, the website. We do have a tab now. Uh, we posted earlier this year to help archive this two-way rallies. You know, the beginning of 2020 really looked like the, the year of Second Amendment rallies. People who are interested in uh, exercising that First Amendment right to assemble uh, to use their First Amendment right of speech uh, to talk about our Second Amendment and then, of course, share it with our Second Amendment, our First Amendment right for the press. And uh, it would have been a great year to uh, experience. Of course, we have this happening now, so looking forward to these being rescheduled and to see the resurgence in that activism. And I suspect after confinement and quarantine, people might be more interested than ever to get outside and together with each other to reestablish some of those bonds that. Uh, we kind of lose when we only have social contact, right? Social media contact. Let us know what you think of the comments about that one. And now let's talk about another uh, unfortunate event in history. So an anniversary of a ban, another of our import bans. In 2014, we had a uh, change in policy with the uh, ATF and they decided that based on the types of material that the projectiles are made out of the 545 by 39 ammunition should be banned. And uh, we don't always win these fights. And this was one that we lost and we no longer can import the 545 by 39 ammo. It's frustrating and it's something that we, uh, one of the reasons we focus on history like this is so that we don't forget the good stuff or the bad stuff. And we remember why we're fighting in the ways that we've um, lost in the past so that we can uh, hopefully change that going forward. So we had a ban on 545 ammo today in 2014. That's a challenge to overturn so we can get some of that Cold War ammo back in inexpensively to feed our uh, our AK-74s and other guns that use 545 ammo. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments of today's anniversary events or today's events over on guncalendars.com. We want to thank our patrons that give us the time and the ability to do projects like this one and so many others. If you like what we're doing, Consider joining us over there. Uh, we have a, 20, a $2 for 2A challenge. We're challenging people to take $20 a month, give $2 to us, and then give the other $18 to other content creators that you feel are valid. Do that for five months. You've spent $100. Get back with us and let us know if you think that $100 investment in Second Amendment content creation was worth it. And uh, we're interested in what you think. I think that's the future of activism and awareness. Let us know what you think in the comments of all these different things. And until next time, thanks for watching.